My personal Dropbox account is always almost full, but the NPS Global Dropbox account has 2,000 GB of storage. The free libre open source Winder stat program shows my entire Dropbox folder on my PC that has been mapped to P colon, and I can see that this file is taking up a lot of my room. I want to get this file off my Dropbox, so I will click on it, right click on its name, and copy the path to the clipboard, then open the Explorer at its location. And there's my culprit. I want to move that off my Dropbox. In the project management folder of my project, there is an NPS tool to archive files dot bat. I can double click on that to see what it does. It moves files from a project folder to identical relative paths in a project archive folder. And it's ready to move star dot star from NPS resource. Well, no, that's not what I want to do. So are all the above values correct? Yes. Continue. No, I need to edit this batch file. No. So it says edit the batch file. You indicated you need to edit this batch file. Press any key to edit. Then one, right click and choose edit to open this batch file. Two, follow the instructions inside. So I'll press any key to continue. Then I'll right click and choose edit to edit the batch file. It brings it up in a text editor, which is full of batch language. But right here in the middle, it tells me to edit the three values below, edit the three values above. And the three values are the project folder, the path below the project folder, and the files to copy. Well, I have the path to that file in my clipboard, so I'll control V paste. Then I can grab the project folder, which has been mapped to P, and put it here. It wants, oh, without a, it doesn't have slash afterwards, so I won't put a slash afterward. Then the path below the project folder, and it doesn't have slashes in front or after it. So I won't put those either. Let's see. Oh, that's not me. This is me. In previous engineer. And then here's the culprit file. That's all I want to archive right now. And that looks right. Bethka in previous engineer. No slashes after, before, after and then the file name. And they're all in the original quota quotation marks. All right, now just a couple of notes. This is going to call P colon, uh, NPS resource business, NPS archive files dot bat. So I need to have P colon mapped to my Dropbox or it won't be able to find this uh, batch file, the core batch file that it's going to use. And I don't need to refer to these using P colon. Either way is fine. So I will save this, go back to my folder, and double click on this file again. Now it says moves files and it's ready to move our culprit from the project folder to the Bethka archive project folder. It's going to create that folder. That doesn't exist right now. And then it's going to create a readme um, file. Let's just go to P colon and we see Bethka right there. And I will tell the batch file, yes, continue. Now it seems to be doing something, which is a good sign. It says files were archived and README was created in their place. 
No new Dropbox sharing was added. Press any key to continue. All right, let's refresh my view. And I can see that there is now a Bethka archive folder. And in it is just the in previous engineer and the culprit file. And in the Bethka folder, there is an in previous engineer with the culprit gone and a readme archive in its place that says to save space, files from this folder have been moved, blah, blah, and this was created automatically. The usage notes. If you try to do this with an old project, the version may not match. And this uh, source... Uh, batch file is going to check that the versions match and it will not run. It'll tell you that the, the version is wrong and you need to get the latest version from the project template. Uh, you may not have the project template, but you'll, it's in the MPS Global uh, Dropbox if you can get it there or get it shared to you. Here's the MPS project template on my computer. It just looks like any other project, and it has that tool to archive files.bat, the latest version. Also, since the batch file didn't do any sharing, I'll need to share this Bethka archive folder with NPS Global, make NPS Global the owner, and remove myself. And that's all.